Hey guys, crew of Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. I'm Aaron. And it's movie day for us here at Blind movie Wave. Day. Today, Kingsman, The Ooh. Secret Service. Yep. Now real quick, who's Wait. seen it? Us, we've seen it. Yep. Okay. Us. Who hasn't seen it? Raise your hand, Aaron. I guess the other, and Rick. the other people that didn't raise their hand prior. I've seen bits. Bits, okay. I think we watched a trailer for, for the King's some Man. Kingsman thing mm -hmm. a long time ago. Yeah. And it looked cool. Yeah. And I was like, man, there's like a grinder or something. I don't know. Yeah. Do you guys know anything about the, the movie yeah. or anything? Um, there's, I don't know, you said Secret Service, so there's Secret Service people. Yeah. It's for the Queen or King or yeah. Britain. They're English people. It's, it's a, so, it's, I don't know. <laughs> it's a movie by Matthew Vaughn, who's in some of the, the, the X-Men movies, right? He did uh, like First Class, first and, class stuff? and stuff. Okay. And like, uh, yeah. Wanted, I think he did Wanted. Wanted? Yeah. With Angelina Jolie? Yeah. yeah. I think so. Is that the bullet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the bullet one. Anyway, this is his uh, kind of love letter to like the, this, the Bond movies and stuff like that. Does that so. mean um, is in here? Uh, what? Because he was in that movie and he was in he was a Xavier. What's well, Dan? What's his name? McAvoy. James McAvoy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to just see. Um, but yeah, I've seen this movie a couple times. I really like it. It's got a sequel and then yeah, it's got a new thing coming out, which I think is like a prequel or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. But yeah, we're going to check it out here. Uh, this is uh, a movie that was voted uh, on the poll over at patreon.com slash blindwave. By all you weeks, lovely people. Yeah, every two lovely weeks we do a poll so you can go over and help choose what movie we do next. Uh, last time was your name. If you haven't checked that reaction out, that was a lot of fun. So go do that. Uh, and if you want to watch the entire movie along with us, which we're watching this off of Amazon, um, you can do that if you are one of the full-length patrons over at our Patreon. So we appreciate people that support us uh, doing that, but we're going to have a good time watching this movie. Yes. You guys ready? I guess. Let's do it. Oh, damn. Those are some shots on the helicopter. Are you sure this isn't the idea? Jesus. Are we double? All right. Well, <laughs> this is... Oh, that is cool. All the debris turned into the Tiny Century Fox Presents. Oh, that history, though. Oh, this is a cool thing. I like this. I should say, I love this movie. <laughs> this movie is a lot of fun. It's neat. Oh, his knees! Mm. Mm. What? I'm so sorry, Professor Arnold. What? Just a tiny <laughs> oh, God, you've made a mistake. I'm a university lecturer. I can't make money. Is that the Joker? <laughs> Our boss just wants to talk to you. Right. With a 62 down on. His whiskey is amazing. You will shit. <laughs> you, you will, will shit. shit. <laughs> It's amazing. <laughs> it's tactical. I suppose asking to borrow a cup of sugar is a step too far. Oh! Ah! Oh, don't kill Mark now! Oh my god! <laughs> Damn! Da da! <laughs> I'm here to take you home. No, the Jeez. whiskey. Oh, I want to get the whiskey. Take the bottle. 1962 Downwall. It'd be a sin to spill any. That's uh, the, the Commodore. Commodore Norrington, Norrington, right? yeah. From Pirates. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Voice sounded familiar. Someone else asking to borrow sugar. Oh, what? Did you get cut in half? <clears throat> oh my gosh, I thought he was going to be the main person. What the hell? What are we watching? It's a love letter to James Bond movies. What? Her, what did she use her legs to kill him? What? He's in here too? <laughs> <laughs> my kind of world. Damn, I never thought I'd see Mace and Luke together. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Kane? My good one Kane. Day. Damn, man. Yeah, all kind of good people. Mm-hmm. Exit. So one guy was Lancelot, and then when he died, the next guy became Lancelot. Yeah. Okay. And now they had to replace him. With a new Lancelot. Yep. Yeah, what fucking worth it was. Did he steal something? It's freezing. Why are we walking? Ha <laughs> ha, he did! Jack's his fucking car keys, bro. Why did you want to fucking car? Why? 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 <laughs> There's nobody in the street. Your father was a brave man. A good man. No 
having read your files, I think you'd be bitterly disappointed in the choice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to me like that. What the fuck are you doing here? You taking a piss? Some more examples of young men who have been in a silver suppository. <laughs> <laughs> Manners, make it. Man. There's a <laughs> lot of locks in that door. <laughs> it's a pump. He's got an umbrella though. He does. Then let me teach you a lesson. <laughs> oh! <laughs> get shot. Are we going to stand around here all day? Or are we going to fight? <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> the car looking at us! Oh. oh! He just stabbed his buddy! Why oh, you pulling out a knife and there's all these guys hiding in the table? Oh! Damn, I love this umbrella. Yeah. Oh, where's the bartender? He shot him! Oh, okay. Now oh, the umbrella. That's cool. Whatever that is. <laughs> Magnetic handcuff thing. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Is it bulletproof? Oh my god! Fucking dirty! Fucking dirty! Oh. Dude, that's a cool umbrella. It's so much better than the penguin. <laughs> you would be dead! <laughs> uh, I love the way he shoots the action scenes. That was good. I like that. That's my least favorite fight. Jesus. Right? <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, Again, they're back? Oh, yeah, they're Jesus. Back. Parkour! Parkour! Yep. He gymnastics. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, one shot, I love it. Dude. You're prepared to adapt and learn. You can transform. No, I can my fair lady. <laughs> no, I don't feel surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, it is like, it's more like a minute black. No government agency, they're just, yeah. yeah. Nothing. They run independently. What the hell? This is like the thing at the bank. Yeah. <laughs> Night <Imagine>. tomb. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those chairs. It looks more like uh, shredders. It's just like the thing at the bank. Great. Jeez. Uh, Look at his yeah, eyes. That know. sucks. Nobody knows who this guy is. But I love it. <laughs> what the hell? They're all gonna drown. <laughs> Test begin. Oh my shit. What's wrong with the fucking door? <laughs> He's right. Yeah, they seem to be trained pretty well. He's still holding his breath. Ah! 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 He moved out of the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> He's <turned enough. laughs> ah. My colleague died trying to rescue you. And I, I have no idea what they're talking about. I'm not supposed to say it, but it was... Ah. <laughs> oh, no, no! He's dead! Damn it! So freaky how there's no recognizable name for the Chinese people. <laughs> it's kind of freaky, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, this one can breed. Did he take the pug? What pug? It's a bulldog, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting bigger though. <laughs> Jeez. Pugs can barely breed. Look, <laughs> they can't. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, you've got him, you'll fucking shoot you. I'm not. Well, said we're not allowed to hold you. Oh. Not allowed to hold him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <don't get> <laughs> He's fine. He's going in. What in the world are these SIM cards for? Release the princess. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Jeez. Gotta cut off his legs. Ooh, damn. Right. Oh! Damn, man, those things are crazy. I don't know how the hell they work, but those are. Oh! Look at 
Dobbs with him? I don't think so. Oh, come on. I want to see Dobbs in helmets. Ready. Go. Go. Go, 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 go. Wee. This was all shot by the Red Bull Sky Diving Team. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Kingsman agent needs to be able to solve problems under pressure. Oh, shit. Like what to do when one of your group has no power. Oh, shit. <laughs> laughing? Oh, no. He's fucking laughing. Who doesn't have the parachute? Uh huh. It's gonna be Eggsy or Roxy, isn't it? Tell me. Alright, just both of you grab on. One of you doesn't have a shoot. All right, get off the target before you get ran in. Damn, man. So he didn't have it. <laughs> That's a tiny target. It is. It's not that. It's not that big of a target at all. You need to take that chip off your shoulder. They all had a parachute. Rahit, no. <laughs> or even something stronger. Oh, uh, no. taste good. Yep, yeah, tastes bad. Oh no, they all failed. They failed. Or, this is still part of the test. Are they on the railroad track? <clears throat> oh shit! Of the old timey movies. <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> what? What happened? Whoa. It was real. That's so cool. <laughs> Did everyone else give him up? Foxy passed with flying colors. Charlie did. Charlie's up next. Oh. Mm. Wanna watch? <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, alright. Half the of a spy agency is called Kingsman. Get me out of here! Thank you, Charlie. Much appreciated. Did they let him get run over? Fucking <laughs> 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 You little shit. Some shit you are, yeah, he's done that. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, if he's gonna tell people anyway, right? Now, do your very best impersonation of a German aristocrat's formal greeting. No, <laughs> no, exit. That is sick. Whoa, how do I get it back in? Fair for Neil. That's a reference to Get Smart. Who James? Locked as in smoked fish, as in locked up. I have trouble understanding these people sometimes. <laughs> no, that was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? JB. As in James Bond? No. Jason Bourne? No. Jack Bauer? <laughs> <laughs> Rather shoot the dog. Ah, uh, yeah. You don't leave a man behind kind of thing, right? Maybe that's what this is tested for. Take it outside. Which one of them does it? Doesn't seem very gentlemanly. Oh! Close the window now! <sighs> no! She shot the dog! At least the girl's got balls. Mr. Pickle here reminds me of that every time I take a shit. Dog that is stuffed. You fucking freak. Right. I shot my dog and then I brought him home and continued to care for him for the next 11 years until he died of pancreatitis. What? It was a blank exit. Ah. Oh. Fucking blank. I'm a Catholic whore currently enjoying Congress out of wedlock with my black Jewish boyfriend who works in a military abortion clinic. <laughs> So hail Satan, and have a lovely afternoon. <laughs> 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 what is going on? Well, anybody that has a SIM card. <laughs> what? I can't watch this. What? They're all going crazy. It's <laughs> all one shot, by the way. <laughs> so everyone with the SIM cards going nuts? Yep. They talked about in the beginning how cannibalism... Yeah, the, on the, it's, it was like uh, uh, A.G. Carter. Yeah. Is he going nuts or is he 
killing nuts people. Oh, dang! Jeez. 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 That was the uh, incense. Uh, incense that burns. Thing that they do the... Oh, damn. Damn. No! God! <laughs> oh, man. The eyeball one hurt more than the top of his head. And then his hair on fire! Why do all these people have guns? I guess they're... They're in Kentucky! Kentucky! Kentucky. Kentucky. <laughs> Sounds so hard on my man. <laughs> Oh, you need to see this. He doesn't like blood. Oh! Grenade! Oh shit! That thing blew up so big earlier. Right! When they want to do some damage. I do some damage. Oh, oh. oh geez. <laughs> Rick, why'd you randomly watch this scene? <laughs> one of the Oh, scene. okay. One of the craziest action scenes oh, halfway through. Oh jeez! Is everyone dead? <sighs> you know what this is like? It's like those old movies we both love. Mm. Now I'm gonna tell you my whole plan, and then I'm gonna come <laughs> up with some absurd and convoluted way to kill you, and you'll find an equally convoluted way to escape. Well, this ain't that kind of movie. What? Same look away. No! Acceptable for us. These are Kingsmen. Yes, they're uh, founder members. I want you grenade. To what did he do? He took some. He's good at taking stuff. Together. Some up to drink. And so he did something whenever he was like, "What is that?" And when the camera turned, uh -huh. yeah. That's awesome. the you're gonna be using it. Get into your halo suit. She's afraid of heights. Yeah, but she's Lancelot. There's no heights in space. The brave there. I mean, there's no heights in space. It's all height. Eat, drink, and water. <laughs> Same chance. Jeez. And I will be you all. The things I like about this villain more than in uh, Unbreakable. No, yeah. Yeah. They're very similar, aren't they? There's some of it. Well, there's one wanted to be a hero, and yeah. this one wanted to be a spy. You know. There's things that I like in this that... Hey, look at that. Right? You're wearing a suit. Me. Man, I'm scared. Me. Just slowly floating to space. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Martini. Gin. Not vodka, obviously. Stirred for ten seconds while glancing at an unopened bottle of them. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Lock on. Oh, shit. Ah oh, shit! Look at it. It's like so a predator. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Firing in three, two. Oh no! Why didn't you shoot sooner? Nice and slow. Fuck are you doing here? Well, my family. You fucking fuck. Okay, fuck. Charlie, right? Oh fuck! It's that young valet. <laughs> oh, fuck. oh Oh damn! Shit. Son of a bitch, just watch it. Shoot it! Oh, good. Dude, this place is so James Bond slash, like, supposed Austin to Powers dead. looking kind of yep. hideout. It's just so cheap looking. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah it's, I love it. It's supposed to be. I love it. They intentionally made some of the green screen oh, bad. You're gonna have to get in there and make sure his hand never touches that desk. Are you taking a fucking piss? I'm afraid not. <laughs> you just got it back. Is that that name? Uh huh. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you who. <laughs> uh -uh. You'll take an hour, maybe two. Bullshit! Just bring these two clothes together. <laughs> <laughs> Who owns it? Oh! Oh! 
Yep, yeah, that makes sense. Grenade! Remember those implants you said were of no use to us? Each one you can turn them on. Oh, burn everyone up? Blow everybody up? All our faces explode! Turn to play, Valentine. Yes, please. <laughs> so gentlemanly. <laughs> Who all has them? Macho Man? <laughs> Why do they? Obama, no. Uh, Obama went and got this. I wonder if those prisons are safe. Do they have them? No, why would they have them? Unless they don't go crazy too. Look at those mushroom clouds. Uh oh. Oh man, he just woke up! up. <laughs> He's eyeball! Oh, that is fucking spectacular! <laughs> you a fucking genius! Is it Iggy? Okay, it's the. <laughs> What's that <laughs> They're all fucking dead. Do I save the world? If you save the world, we can do them the asshole. I'll be right back. <laughs> Good luck! What the fuck? Oh shit! Ninth foot lady! Gazelle. Gazelle is her name? Yep. Gazelle? Gazelle. Look at her. <laughs> Love her sound effects. <laughs> he has a party thing with his Back up! Oh, oh my god. Here we go Those again. people ran out to the field. Oh, oh. Jesus! He just hit him with a baseball bat. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I love, I, I love I this, this, this villain. Like, it's such a unique, different Bond yeah. villain kind of thing. You know, it's not Jaws, odd Jaws. But it's ridiculous. It is. Is that a frying pan? It's a fruit bowl. Oh. Whoa, that's a cool shot. Her fists aren't what I'm worried about. Look how big he gets. Look at his uh, <laughs> Look at him. Ah, oh, I got a little one too. Neurotoxin. Ooh, damn. He was doing the little. <laughs> That's such a like James Bond kind of thing there. Ah, oh, even the deling. Hit him with something. Oh my God. What do you use? No. For a second, I thought he was gonna throw her. <laughs> you can't throw her that far, Aaron. <laughs> I, I, I guess it's even more ridiculous. He's throwing oh, up. Oh, he's sick and throwing up. Oh my god. <laughs> what a crazy movie. Mark, when you think I'm really bad, fun. <laughs> Just like you said to Harry. This isn't a movie. This ain't that kind of movie, bro. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna just stay on this. <laughs> Why do you take two glasses? Well, it, it's a governor. That's so. You owe me, Exy. Exy. Oh my god. Exy. Oh my <laughs> Let's close these. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's the movie. 
Oh, my God. The only place she'd be visiting is you in fucking hospitals. You hear? Just leave fucking... him alone, Dean. Exit go. Please, just go, babe. Right. Manners. As a good friend once said, Maketh man. Manners. <laughs> <laughs> And the other two know. Yeah, they're like, oh, <laughs> fuck. Like, oh, shit. <laughs> hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I like it. Hey. I'm gonna shove your medicine. Oh! Fuck. We're gonna stand around you. They've been down this road before. Who are we gonna fight? <laughs> no, is that where it ends? I wanna see the fight. Can't All right. believe I never watched this movie. It's a crazy movie, isn't it? Well, I love like James Bond and stuff yeah. like that too. Yeah. It's, uh, like, yeah. it's what you ever see Kick Ass? Yeah, so it's what yeah, Kick Ass is a superhero movie says this is to James Bond. Yeah, it's it's to the spy movies. movies. Yeah. It's silly and it's ridiculous and it has a lot of fun and it doesn't take it itself is. seriously. I mean Mark Hamill showing up in it. Yeah. And he's basically just talking like the Joker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but yeah, in the comic, when they're taking the celebrities, like the ones they want to live. Valentine steals Mark Hamill because he loves Star Wars so much. Yeah. <laughs> so when they did this, like, we gotta get Mark Hamill in here somewhere. Where's he gonna be? He's like, I don't got a lot of time. What do you want? <laughs> I need a professor role. Man. So, Iggy, a lot of big stars. I wrote down the Iggy Azalea thing because I was like, she's yeah. missing. What's, yeah. what's that got to do with her? Right. But I'm like, oh, yeah. I guess she, was she in like one of those things or did she die? She probably died. Was yeah. she one of that blew up? She probably died. But like, I feel like that one hall was filled with people who. That, like, it was filled with people that were. Important, yeah. but yeah. He, they didn't agree. I guess that she didn't die then, because if you're missing, that means that like the professor that wasn't that, missing. That, that he was still yeah. out and about. Yeah. yeah. If, if you're you, missing, that means you didn't agree in her. And they up. they have you locked up. But exactly. they thought you were important. Like you know, Obama agreed, and they said that just the ones that were super scared could come to this place. Thanks, Obama. I know, yeah. Right. <sighs> Damn. Man, I was sad about Harry dying. Galahad. <clears throat> I didn't think I didn't think they were gonna do that. Yeah, yeah. wasn't it? He was I was like, calling for. It. I just love the gentleman spy ridiculousness that they went through with all of it. But yeah, yeah. the manners make of the man is a great scene. And I love what they call back for it at the end. Yeah, yeah I like Colin that. Firth has always has also always wanted to play like a James Bond kind yeah. of character. So, and yeah, I looked it up too. Great. Calvin's right. He did like eighty percent of his stunts. Yeah, really. Just because he wanted to do that kind of stuff, you know. So that's and he was Galahad. That's the Galahad. That's Galahad. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I'm also. I was also super surprised when I thought, I thought like we were meeting something. Yeah. And like okay, this Lancelot thing, and then we're like, oh, this guy. Damn, this guy's pretty cool. I'm interested to see what he has to go up against. It's gonna kill him and whatever, you know. And yeah. he just died immediately. It wasn't <laughs> yeah. like a. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then I. I mean, I, I can't remember if they said it, but that Eggsy is the new Galahad, pretty much is the idea. Well, I mean, I, I imagine so. But they're not gonna take Lancelot away from he the current was, Lancelot. Well, no, she made Lancelot. They're not gonna yeah. do that. But yeah. I don't know. And they're gonna need a whole new. Table. Yeah, well, like, there was all the Kingsmen, and we didn't see any of them. Well, yeah, you know? I mean, they usually are out doing stuff, you know, it's, it's, it's like when you watch, like, Captain America, what the fuck, where's the Hulk, you know, they're busy. I guess, but they're, where are they at? Where are they I mean, the world was it's not like itself. Arthur once, actually once wanted him to stop it, you know, he just, yeah. he didn't call him back, and they couldn't trust anyone else either. Yeah, yeah. like, for, for all we know, they all sided with Arthur. Yeah, yeah as I was wondering, and or are they out there killing each other or themselves or other people? Although, if they did... Then yeah, I guess there's they would still be around, right? Because mm -hmm. if you had the chip, but you didn't come to that place, yeah. would the chip still have exploded? No, yeah, the White House exploded. Remember? Yeah, everyone Every, globally, everyone with the chip in blew up. The one that inhibits the. the thing. They lost the world leaders who were willing to do it. That's basically what happened. All Which the, is the best. <laughs> all the all the rich people yeah. and all the governments that were willing to do it, they mm -hmm. lost. And then the people who weren't were the ones in, in prison. Yeah. Like Iggy Azalea. Yeah. Like if, if, we need. if only one of us had the SIM card in our phones, it would all do it. We all would have had yeah. it. Yes. You know? I would say, like, free phones, free, they, they ain't nothing free. I can not imagine yeah. what the world was like in the sequel after that the events of this movie. Yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> it's like 20 days later. There is a sequel. You know, twenty weeks later. Did you see the sequel, Colin? I've seen it. Yeah, it's just as crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there's this and that, and then there was a prequel that's coming out or yeah. came out. Yeah, I don't think it's come out yet. I don't think it hit yet. The King's Man. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, it's a it's a silly, crazy, ridiculous, fun movie. And I know sometimes, at least Rick, sometimes for you, that's hit or miss. What did you think of the movie? Uh, I I didn't like it. No. Um, no. I mean, the only thing I really liked were the performances. Mm -hmm. To be honest, um, the action. Something about the frame rate that really bothers me. Mm -hmm. Like, it, I had to look away a few times. <laughs> um, just something about the action scenes didn't jive with me. Because, I, uh, like I said before, Maggie had watched the movie, got to the yeah. church scene. 
I came in, I started watching it about halfway through. I just couldn't watch anymore. Hmm. So. Yeah. I don't know if it's yeah. a frame rate. I'd probably say it's like there's some various zooms and quick motion cuts and stuff like that that they do a lot. But they also they also like speed it up too. Well, it's not necessarily sped up. It is frame cutting. So they'll take like you know they'll shoot twenty or twenty three point nine seven six frames per second. But on certain shots, you might lose two frames yeah. here, two frames there, two frames there. So it's not necessarily like a uh, they're just ramping the speed. Yeah, they're not running as because you know, that can mess with your motion blur and it can mess with yeah. But it does give like a uh, a chaotic sense, and it's not my favorite thing. But I, despite the 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 speed problems or the frame problems, I love how everything is shot dead center in the middle. Mm -hmm. So your eye never has to track left, right here. It's very like. Uh, you know, kung fu, Chinese kung fu, where it's all right in the middle, and you just have to watch right there, and yeah. you, can, you yeah. can follow it pretty easily. Yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, there's definitely a lot of like artistry and mm -hmm. skill in this movie, but yeah. And just they were to... trying to shoot a lot of the shots so that you could both have a great cinematic shot, so yeah. you didn't have to move your eyes around a whole lot, and also to make it look like a comic uh, panel. So. That's See, when it was put on the poll, I, in my head I said, I think Aaron's going to love it, and I think Rick's not going to like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, like, it reminds me of Sharknado and Samurai Cop 2, yeah. where they're trying to do some things poorly, yeah. but because they're not earnestly doing it poorly, like, mm -hmm. they could do better, but they're choosing not too for artistic reasons. Yeah. Like, that really bothers me and throws me off. Yeah, I don't get what you mean, but, I mean, that's... that's well, it. I mean, you know, they have, like, you know, the poor sets and the bad CGI. Sure. And, like, stuff like that, yeah. which they have the talent, I feel like, to do better. Yeah, it's just called, instead, it's called a postmodern homage is what it's called, right? I mean, it's an intentional thing. You just don't yeah. like that intention, right? Is what you mean? It just, yeah. The bad CGI, like, like when they were at the airplane, like the landing pad or whatever, and it looked like the background was like, well, obviously that's a, seat, that's a green screen yeah. kind of thing. Like that. I mean, that, but... It's made to homage the no, bad yeah, effects I get, I'm, I'm trying original. to understand, make sure I understand what Rick's yeah. saying. Like, all the explosions, you know, were poor. Like, the head explosions or just all? Well, no, I mean, the head explosions were artistic, but, like, the explosion where Mark Hamill blew up. Like, mm -hmm. you know, clearly that's just like a matte 2D fire inside that building, mm -hmm. right? Like, it's not Was it? I particularly didn't effective. I thought it blew out the window. Well, I mean, there were effects for that, but yeah. like the actual fire itself, like it, it didn't look like the building was on fire. Either. And you know, I can understand that they're trying to homage those kind of things, but I feel yeah. like, I mean, I haven't seen all the James Bond movies, but I feel like a lot of them tried to do the best that they could. Like, sure, they were cheesy in their storylines and stuff, but I feel like the action and the effects in those were top tier for the time. I mean, it is and it isn't. Sometimes they're like, well, who fucking cares? A James Bond movie. Let's just do this effect and be done with it. You know, like when you watch, like, fuck, was it? Is it Live Another Day? What's the one, uh, the Pierce Brosnan with the, uh, the snowing? Yeah, Die Never Dead, the snow and all that stuff. Like, you look at the green screen there, it, of the time, it is one of the worst green screen visuals I've ever seen. But they're like, it's, we gotta get this done. Uh, who gives a shit? It's just the beginning. We're gonna go, you know, move on. So, you can say like, well, some things they they're very earnest and, and trying their best, and other things it's like, we don't got the time or money to worry about it. Let's just go. But a lot of people find charm in that. Like you find charm in like the room, which is sure. trying to be good and is terrible. Well, but if someone made an homage to the room, it's not gonna be as good as the original trying to be good. You know, right. so I get that to that point. I would say in the Roger Moore era, like a lot of their stuff was very tongue in cheek. Sure, and it wasn't like. I think I think they could have done better with various things, mm -hmm. but I think for some reason they went yeah. from Sean Connery into Roger Moore, and then as Roger Moore went on, it just got hokey. Very or more sure. Yeah, I mean they used slide whistles. <laughs> yeah, they, they did a lot of stuff there. Where yeah. I haven't seen any of the Roger Moore stuff. Yeah, no. It, but, it, I mean, and then, it, then they brought in Timothy Dalton, and things started getting much more serious. Yeah. yeah. And then Pierce Brosnan came in, and it was kind of still, and then mm -hmm. it got weird again. It was yeah. it was like when um, Timothy Dalton, Pierce got Brosnan, got Roger Moore. Roger Moore. It was like in the be very beginning of Roger Moore when it was a little bit tongue in cheek, but it was still like serious tone. Mm -hmm. I guess yeah. beginning of Roger Moore was still like really good, and then yeah. they got later on to the like later half of his movies, and yeah. they were they got much sillier and much mm -hmm. like just I don't know. Like I think they could have done better if they wanted to on a lot of yeah. aspects, but yeah. They didn't. But no, I, he, I mean I, I don't think there's anything bad about this movie. I can see why people like it. It's yeah. just not for me. Okay. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, all that stuff is put in there in a very clear intention not to be like, 
you know, we're trying, but we're failing. It's like, no, nah, it's, it's supposed to be like this because it's that love letter to that era of... Yeah, uh, of we're not trying to win I get... awards for special effects or anything like that. I mean, it's... Like, I see a success in that in something like House of the Devil. Mm -hmm. But they're trying to do, like, a very specific, like, homage to 70s horror movies. Mm -hmm. And that, like, it just does it well. Yeah. You know? It doesn't, like, try and evoke that era in any particular way through, like, bad effects or anything. It just makes the movie the way those movies were made. Mm -hmm. And it just doesn't. Whereas this, you know, it just doesn't capture that same feeling for me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I can't agree, but uh, when it comes to, like, you know, like, the, the, the actual fight scenes themselves, the choreography and creativity, like, that one, like, Guy that just his head just goes he into like the pulpit, like an and it was just it was, it's just yeah. straight up a mannequin that they yeah. just smash into. It like, but and that, it evokes so that like oh my god. Even though in the moment of oh my god, you understand that wasn't a real person. That was an effect you're seeing. Like that's the kind of thing in terms of homage that I really enjoy because I still get that effect. But then like a half a second later, I'm like, I know how they did it, and it's still fun. You know? Yeah. Some good dummy work in this, and I like the world that they built, and like the organization, mm -hmm. the testing, and all that. How no one's really in danger, or yeah. I mean, no one really died. You know? Mm -hmm. Like they test them in different ways. Yeah, like they never really, we were, you were never really meant to kill your dog. It's just that if you're going to do it, you know, it's yeah. uh, it's very uh, if they're invoking Noah's Ark, it's very Abraham and Isaac. I like the training method of all of it because you have. You have the very first one where, like, they said they failed because they didn't do teamwork. Yeah. But I think that was part of it, and now there's stakes, and you mm -hmm. understand how dangerous this really is. Yeah. yeah. Because you set it up to that's what it was going to be. Yeah. And then everything they did from the parachute to the dog to all that, yeah, I like that there was there is a safety net so that you don't die. The goal is that I, I don't think they I think they set it up to be scary. Mm -hmm. No one's ever going to die in yeah. this testing. And they do the parachute thing. And they all have parachutes. Yeah. You know, they do the dog thing, and there's that. They do the train thing, and they do the safety net to catch you so that you mm -hmm. don't, you know, you, yeah. they don't want you to tell the truth. And they're just trying to test you on, like, do you follow orders? Are you going to give them yeah. up? Are you going to do all this stuff? But at the same time, it's safe, and you're not going to, you're, you're not actually going to die from it. Yeah. But I think they should have amnesia that fucking Charlie kid. Charlie, yeah. Or something. Done something to him. I don't know what. Yeah. I thought he was going to be like, a little bit bigger into, like, oh, man, he's the guy we have to fight now, but they kind of just No, he was just them. down. I yeah. thought it. Was, I thought it was because it would be nice, like a nice little mirror. But you also had Gazelle that you had to take on. Yeah, yeah. It would have um, been like a um, 006, 007 kind of thing. Kind of, yeah. But like, I don't know. If, did his head blow up? You know, like mm -hmm. I imagine so. Who was his dad? I wonder how that played his out head blew too. Up too. Yeah, well, I mean, know? it's um, you know, he was the one that Arthur had recommended, yeah. right? And Arthur in the beginning, uh, Arthur and Galahad are talking like, you think there's a very specific type of person, and I'm saying that you can. You can go down to the streets and find someone that's going to be just as good. But Arthur was about that aristocratic and gentleman that was born into it as opposed that's made into it. Which one of the cool little details is when Arthur's dying, he reverts back from his aristocratic uh, accent to his Cockney accent. Mm -hmm. Where you can tell, ah, oh, he's been lying about who he's been this whole time too. He was a Cockney guy and like tricked people to get to where he was. Really? Yeah. So I appreciate that Roxy was able to shoot the missile, but I kind of wish he'd come back at the end. Too. Yeah, had a fight. And she was just stuck I mean, there in the yeah, snow. Yeah, I think the idea is that she was so far up and she landed so far <laughs> away that she just couldn't yeah. do anything. Uh, I mean, more ridiculous things happen in the movie. Like I would have yeah. bought her. Oh yeah, I would have bought it too. You know, falling through the skylight. Yeah, and yeah no. Fine. There were some things that I, I was just Jesus. I, I also I really like the uh, the uh, the intro, like the when they were coming in and like stuff blew up and all of a sudden just pff, credits. I'm like oh. That's a yeah. fun way to do the credits. We're like, here's the rubble falling off, yeah. and that's the credits, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that's kind of cool. But I was also curious on, like, what Val Valentine, is that what his name was, mm -hmm. right? Like, what was his gala dinner? If his, like, you're a special person, and he brought McDonald's. Yeah. Like, that's your special per. You deserve your own dinner, McDonald's. Like, what are we going to have at the gala? Yeah. Right? Arby's? <laughs> likes what he likes. <laughs> you know? If someone's you guys... so worried about global warming, you shouldn't be eating beef. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter now. Or it wouldn't have mattered if he had had it. But no, I get you. Did you guys like Valentine as a villain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Like, just as like a silly, you know, just the. I just love the way they uh, they scripted him with the lisp and yeah. and all that stuff. No, I didn't. I didn't books. expect Samuel Jackson to be in this. I didn't expect. Yeah. I didn't expect the lisp. Uh -huh. When I first saw, I'm like, oh damn, it's Samuel Jackson. He's like, you know, it's, uh, yeah. 
Like, I don't even know how to do, I don't even know how to do the you list. Yeah, he's yeah. Dumb. I'm like, I don't even know how to. Like, yeah. that's not Samuel Jackson. It's so weird. Uh, it was absolutely not it, scripted it to be. It all off. It, was, it wasn't like, scripted to be a list or anything. He just happened to do that in his first take. And Michael Vaughn's like, what are you doing? He's like, ah, when I was a kid, I had a lisp and I had to get over it. I just thought it would be a fun thing for the character. Matthew Vaughn's like, all right, let's see if it works. <laughs> and they ended up, they loved it, you know? Yeah. But it's so funny. You just hire that guy. He's done so many roles. Like, I, can make, I gotta make it different. You kill yeah, that shit yet? <laughs> <laughs> like, and I'm like, oh, God. It's so disarming, too. Because you is. expect him to walk in and be like... Yeah. Be like a badass. You yeah. Know? And he's also, like, you know, he's not... He's not like a Goldfinger kind of guy. Mm-hmm. He's this yeah. rich, you know, electronic, like, guru yeah. guy. He's who, an entrepreneur. Yeah, who has all this money from tech and whatnot. And, he, like, the way he dresses is so... He's, he's the opposite of the gentleman kind of thing, mm-hmm. you know? Like, they're all, like, suits and this and that. And then he's wearing, like, yeah. you know, sidewards caps. And, but he's still got his quirks like the old James Bond villain. True. He can't look at violence. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no. I love that he's, like... He's dying, but he's getting sick and throwing up from him in his blood. Yeah. yeah. And then I also I like Gazelle because it's, it's just a it's an interesting it's different Bond villain yeah. like sidekick kind of character you know like you had you had a uh, Goldfinger and you had Aja and he was a tough little guy mm-hmm. with his with his cap you know? or whatever and then you get you know Jaws and yeah. you had like Nick Nack and you have like you have all these different ones that are a little different they have little unique things but like I've never seen she felt like Raiden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was uh, crazy. For the role, they did actually originally cast a uh, a woman that like runs at the Special Olympics, like that has no legs. Really? Um, and due to some uh, delays in their schedule, it was either she's going to be in the movie or she was going to miss the next Olympics. Mm. So she had to bow out. So they went with this actress and uh, you know taught a lot of stuff, but the CG. Of the so legs. they CG all the yeah. legs. Now, they were going to go a lot more realistic with. How they were going to shoot and do that with the that woman that great. actually didn't have legs. So, Man, I would have liked to have seen what that yeah. looked like. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, this is still pretty effective, especially the sound work with with her stuff was really fun. Um, but yeah, it's very crazy power base. Oh, no, yeah, that's the right word. I liked it. It was interesting. Did that that beginning shot when all of a sudden just like, whoosh, you're like yeah, who the hell's at the door? What happened? What, what did this? Did it cut through him? Yeah. And then it's just like it's her legs. And then whenever she's there, like, hold these. And just, like, putting all these blankets over all these uh-huh. dead guys. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. yeah. They're like, no bodies are there. I didn't understand what was going mm-hmm. on at first. So it was good. I like the quirks. Yeah. The quirkiness of it. I even love the uh, the music of it. because yeah, it, good music. I it, mean, it's, you know, spy thriller. Yeah, it, it, ca- it captures. Like, there's Ba-da-da, straight up, like, moments yeah. and stuff, too. Like, James Bond or, you well, know. Wah, wah. Or, like, huh? yeah. get smart. Okay. Mr. F. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, things like that, so... I, I like the music for it. I like the training a lot. The yeah. training methods that they went through and everything was cool. For the uh, the scene where they wake up and everything just fills up with water, that was the very first scene they shot in the movie. And in the very first take, the computers controlling the water just broke, and everything just filled up real quick. Oh. And like their camera the equipment, like everything was like be, falling, and the actors lowered in. The actors were like freaking the fuck panic. out. And then one of the shots I think is used of so the actors <laughs> genuinely freaking out. Yeah, all of that, them uh, like it's all, all them, going out shit. You know, <laughs> all them freaking out and stuff was genuine because yeah. they were supposed to be lowered down in stages uh-huh. so they could do multiple takes. But the entire set went all the way down on the first take, and it went much faster than it was supposed to yeah. in rehearsals. That was the first. So scene of the movie. <laughs> them, them freaking out was real, and also um, Taron Egerton punching the glass was yeah. real. Yeah. Like he was actually frustrated, like he thought he was going to drown. <laughs> like everybody thought they were going to drown, and uh, everything was yeah. going to be ruined. Have you seen like, the, the very uh, first take? Have you seen the shit? What's the uh, Elton John biopic? I don't know. That's Rocket the guy. That, that's the guy that plays Elton John. That yeah. guy is. Yeah. The, it's like, uh, huh. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. He's really good in that too. He's really good. Yeah. No, I've never exactly. seen him before. I thought Roxy looked familiar, mm-hmm. but I'm not sure. And then yeah, after think, you after you mentioned about Merlin being Shazam, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah I can see it. Mark Strong. I just I didn't remember yeah. that at all. I recognized Mark Hamill, Samuel Jackson, Michael Caine, so when Commodore you said Norrington. That, I you said Kazam. I was no. Looking at him like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's not him. Shazam. Kazam. <laughs> remember Kazam? Oh, that fucking guy. Rick out there like. <laughs> <laughs> The genie? Yeah. Boombox genie? Shaquille O'Neal? They had a boombox. Um, I loved, I never realized how many spies were JB. Yeah, right? Yeah, I didn't find out too. Jason Bourne? Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer. Oh, yeah. 
It was good. I was wondering what that was for. I'm like, man, I wonder what it could be. Mm-hmm. I wonder what his dad's name was. Maybe it's like an acknowledging his dad. And I was like, sure. that'd make it really hard to yeah. kill him. Because we said right off the bat, I've, was it Rick? He was like, I'm going to have to kill him. Yep. Or so, someone yeah. said that. And yeah, I was like, that dog. man, I hope we don't have to. That's going to be terrible. Yeah, I can't remember what, like, uh, the soldier training, they give you a dog and you have to kill at the end of the training, but... It might just be one of those urban myths where it's, oh, yeah, it's this or this or this. Yeah. It's not really true. It also could have been from another show or movie that yeah. we're just connecting into real life. And we're like, oh, yeah, remember this? You yeah. get a dog, you get to kill it. Like, in my head, I was like, was it the Spartans? Or was it, like, Israeli Defense Force? Or I can't remember what it was, you know? I don't know. I don't, know. I don't really re- recognize anything else that uh, Roxy Actress is in. Mm. I can't believe they took that Swedish, was it Sweden? What was it? Sweden. Scandinavian. The Scandinavian yeah. princess. Princess. And turned her into like the, so the Bond ridiculous. girl. It's so like, ridiculous. Yeah. You're like, I always wanted to kiss a princess. He's like, you saved the world. <laughs> the <laughs> asshole. Arsal. Uh, and he's like, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. And then, and and then, I didn't think about it whenever he was grabbing the wine or uh-huh. the champagne or whatever. I'm like, oh man. And then they, they followed him. I'm like, oh. Down the hallway. <laughs> oh. We're, okay. So I, I don't know if it's true, but Wikipedia says that a branch of the Guatemalan army, mm. uh, the... Kibiles okay. are infamous for the repeated practice of forcing recruits to kill animals, which includes raising a puppy, bonding with it before killing it and eating it, Ugh. as well as biting mm-hmm. off the head of live chickens. That's just that, one, that makes sense. Well, well, it's just the state it's hard. Have you ever tried? It's hard. Well, instead of cutting them off for cooking, you just bite them off. Yeah. A live chicken. No, I never had to do that. <laughs> I can't say that. I Imagine a chicken pecking your your little uvula thing in the back of your throat. Oh, you're biting its head off. Ozzy Osbourne bit the head off a bat live on stage. Yeah, yeah but he thought it was fake. It wasn't scripted. It's true. But a bat is a lot smaller than a chicken. It is. Hey, did you see that one picture? There's this thing going viral, this gigantic fucking bat. I don't know where it's at. But it's a picture of it just, like, hanging in a city. It looks like Man Bat from Batman. <laughs> it's gigantic. That's crazy. It's probably just, like, a forced perspective shot. But just, like, looking at it at first, you're like, ah, Jesus, it looks like a man. It's hanging upside down. That's Would you get salmonella if you bit off the head of a chicken? Uh, depends. I don't know. Um, one thing I'm interested in if I like watch this again at some point yeah. is watching those. Uh, I like the newspapers on the wall. Yeah, yeah I like that. that. I like that as like a little like. Like, I did this, and here's what the headline was. The yeah. headline was The headline about, would have been this if I yeah, hadn't stopped. It wasn't about me stopping this bomb from exploding yeah, I like that or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, here's the headline, but and that's what keeps him going. Splitter would have been very proud. Yeah. So it was cool. They were very them. distracting. There were a lot. I was looking at all of them, like Brad yeah. Pitt ate my sandwich, Naughty Nun spanked my uh, bum, you know, like. Well, the Sun is like the British version of the National Enquirer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, then, if anything, they would be the ones to know of like crazy conspiracies of yeah. like bombs blowing. I mean, they're not hiding this one. No. <laughs> Front page next to tomorrow is going to be a fucking Unless world's we're the Transformers check. universe, and then they can hide. Maybe. Maybe that's true. <laughs> ah. We kind of talked about it a little bit in the movie, but it is, for anybody, we've, I mean, we've all seen Unbreakable here. Yes. So, yeah, if you, spoilers for Unbreakable. But Sam Jackson is, like, he reads comics as a boy. He knows that if there's some, if, if someone's like me, there's got to be someone that's the opposite. The hero. I'm going to find the hero. I want to be a hero. But to find the hero, he has to become the villain. And then here he talks about, you know, same actor talking about, I love his old movies and I wanted to be the spy. But I end up being the, the villain, you know? So it's kind of similar to that. It's a shame well, they, both yeah. had to grow up. Yeah, yeah right. Colin Firth always wanted to be the spy. Yeah. And no, Firth wanted to be, he talked about being the, uh, uh, the Superman. Superman. No, in, in real life. Oh, no, in real life. to play a spy. Yeah. yeah. But in this, it re- reversed the role. <laughs> I don't really have much else. Uh, it's just no. a fun, silly movie. Yeah, yeah. it was I cool. mean, like, I honestly, fun, like, but... I watched it a long time ago. I forgot about it. But then when I went to watch it again, like, a year ago, I was like, that's the movie where the guy, like, at the end, he's like, the princess in the ass, right? That's, is that one? And then I watched it again. I'm like, man, I love this action. <laughs> no, the action and stuff's pretty good. Yeah. I, I'm, there, I, I get Rick with the, uh, the fighting. Like, it's, there's something a little weird about it. Mm-hmm. But it's also, it's not... It's cut. kind of similar to Upgrade, but Upgrade I loved. And mm, it's, it's not, though, because it's not... I don't know. I get what you mean with that, too. But, I mean, it's not wide shots, either. It's not close-up, cut, cut, cuts. It's, it's, well, the church scene is you know, like five, four or five shots. Yeah, yeah like a there's, lot of, there's so much and stuff. And you literally have a hundred people in it. But you know? a, there is a lot of like, shh, shh, and it's yeah. following and doing stuff. So, so it's, I don't know, it's similar to Upgrade, but different. So mm-hmm. I get you there too. So I don't know. But I, as far as the choreography, like I love 
the things they're doing. I love yeah. the fights. I love the the body movements and stuff yeah. with the gun and blocking. Was, and, using the instance burner in the fight, you know. Yeah, like and I there's love the idea that man, the Kingsmen train these guys so well. If they were the bad guys, they could just kill a million yeah, people. Yeah, could you imagine? Like if. if <laughs> They got taken over and went That really sucks for him, too. Like, his last memory on Earth is killing all those innocent people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's it's awful. awful. It's not that kind of movie. Get ready for it. Do you feel down now that Rick has pointed that out about this character? Well, cheer yourself up by going over patreon.com slash blindway where you can help vote which movies we watch next. Um, there's another one of these? There's another one of these, yeah. If you want to see it, I guess we can watch it. I mean, it gets crazier, Aaron. Crazier? Yeah, and then in the asshole? <laughs>